Okay. 
that's all I do. And when I'm not cooking, I'm eating. And yeah, sorry, yeah, I just know. really wanted to say that. Oh, oh, of course. What is your favorite dish? Um, I really like uh, jellyfish, but only if you prepare it right. You know, like there's a different way to do it, and yeah, not everyone's well, able to do that. No, so it's always messy. Yeah, yeah. By the way, today you are here for yes, yes. cooking. Yes. We yes. are like a really important task for you. Okay. Like uh, you are gonna make a lasagna with a special ingredient. Oh. A special ingredient. Of course, yeah, a special ingredient. The moon. Are you for real, chef? The moon. It's a cashew. Ah, a cashew. Yeah. So. Today was a beautiful day, but that will change drastically because of the cloudy clouds. Um, the cloudy clouds have an evil smear on their faces. <laughs> um, the numbers are telling me that the degrees are lowering by 3%. <laughs> channel.3.5.happiness Seb
<clears throat> Yo, I'm Mike. <laughs> Yo, I'm visible. Yo, visible, I'm Mike. Let's find out this nature and show them kids some good stuff. Yeah, let's search for it. What well, is this? Well, let's look at it. It's a fish. Is it? Of course it's not a fish. Ah, what do you mean it's not a fish? Mike, come on! It's obviously a fish. No, okay, yeah, but maybe we should try to eat it. Yeah. Okay, first smell, first smell, then eat, of course. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Welcome back to Kitchen Clash, where couples air their culinary grievances. Today, we have Coley and Brock, who can't seem to agree on anything, especially when it comes to their anniversary dinner plans. Coley, why don't you start? I just want to be around my people. I think this is, this is the restaurant where my family goes to and, and, and where my friends go to. So I want to be there and I think for me it's a kind of tradition. So it also offends me when you say that you don't want to go to that restaurant. It, it's my, it's my uh, place. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's hear each other out. Koli, why, why is it so important to try something new? But what don't you like about broccoli? You see, I'm a whole broccoli, and then you don't say you don't like broccoli. So uh, that's, that also really offends me, and I'm, I'm really like disappointed that you want to eat lasagna of all the food that you want to eat. You want to eat lasagna. That's, I really need in my eyes, disgusting. I really need something else. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's find some common ground here. Brock, could you perhaps consider trying a new restaurant for the sake of compromise? Um, if I'm going to be completely honest, my whole time has been uh, broccoli. That's also why I turned green and why I'm like this. So I don't see myself eating something else. I, um, like lasagna for me is, is too much. I like cauliflower, but I think there, there is something that, uh, about broccoli that I just like so much that I just can't stop eating it. No, I can't. <laughs> Are you sick of broccoli? Yeah. Come on, who's yeah. going to be sick of broccoli? Broccoli's I have problems with broccoli. Broccoli's. <laughs> I, why won't, won't you be a cauliflower broccoli? Because I don't eat. Like, when my family um, started eating broccoli, and this is also why I became a broccoli, this is, this is something that's so rooted into my family, I can't just abandon the, the, the broccoli life. But it's not, not all about you, Brock. <laughs> but why, when is it about me? Come on, this is, this is, this is the only part that, is, that we have in the relationship where I can be myself and, 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 and enjoy going to a restaurant. I just, I just don't, 
I don't enjoy it at all. But do you enjoy being with me then? <laughs> is, is, there, is there any enjoyment at all when, you, when we go to the broccoli restaurant? I'm not sure, to be honest. Like I tried my best here. It's, 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 it's the best restaurant in the town, in my opinion. It's a, it has a, like, you can choose. But it's it, also like the only restaurant you know. It's um, yeah, but like, why not? It's 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 it's, it's super nice. I, I I really like it. I think um, yeah, it, it just just does offend me a lot, and um, I'm just too angry. I I just I just don't like broccoli, and I don't like the broccoli hair in my bed. Oh, and then I have to. We're gonna talk it. about this now. Yes, the we are going to talk about it. I can't do anything about it. The whole it's house so is full of broccoli. I think they're, 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 like this is just what happens when you become a broccoli. Everything is gonna be around, or everything is gonna be uh, full of broccoli hairs. But yeah, and I'm the one who's going to have to cook it afterwards. And, and it's it. delicious. No, it's not. I think I think that's free food. First of all, and it smells nice. Why don't you eat? Cauliflower then. I love you so much, but eating cauliflower every day has the potential for me to, to turn into a cauliflower and I don't want it. I'm too scared. Too scared for what? To become a cauliflower. <laughs> but a cauliflower has like so much more power than a broccoli. So much more tasty. Yeah, but uh, think about all the dishes that you can make with broccoli. I can think of, you can have different pastas and have different, uh, different kind of food. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, well, it seems like we've hit a culinary pace here. Join us next time on Kitchen Clash as we continue to explore the wild world of food-related disputes. Today, we have two alpha male guests. Let's start with you. What's your name and how old are you? Count Vladimir. Count Vladimir, a wonderful name, very manly. I know, right? And what's oh. your age? I am very old, quite old. When the Dead Sea was a little like, I was feeling a little bit bad. I was still alive, so you know. I love that for you. I love that for you. Yeah, only how single male. You? Yeah, how about you? My name is Bosen. Yes, just oh, awesome. good name, very good name. And uh, uh, actually, I, I I cannot remember my 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 age very clearly, but I probably born in the World War Two. Ah, okay, okay. So you're quite old. I like, but like war, manly. Yeah. I, I like that for you. Did you fight in the war? Yeah, I joined. Yes. The, I joined the Germany. I like men, yes, good men. Well, let's get straight to the point. Are you currently in a relationship? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Relationships no, bro. are for pussies and women. And we don't like both. No, but like, of course, I mean with a good alpha male, because you know, only an alpha male has what it takes to care for an alpha male. Of course. Alpha males should stay together. Obviously. Eat together, sleep together. Obviously. Everything do together because we have to like support each other in our alpha male yes. journey. Yes. And in this in this beautiful, beautiful society nowadays where the men can finally get pregnant, we don't need the women anymore. I don't know why they're here still. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's move to you. Are you currently in a relationship? How could you ask these questions? You just broke up with me. 
I did not break up with you. You ghosted me for a month. That's not alpha male what behavior. What the fuck? You make me pregnant and I go to the London to... You're to, pregnant. To... Why didn't you tell me about my fucking child? How could you don't know? You fucking ejaculate you on my pussy me for... every day. You ghosted me for a full month. Because I feel very sad. You always don't want to be a little uh, responsible. I don't, I don't want to talk about this. Shut Let's up. just move on. Let's just move on. Well, um, let's stay on, on the topic a little bit. What's your body count? I stopped counting after 66 alcohol number. Hell, Satan. But like, it should be in 10,000 right God now. God damn, bro. God damn. I'm not really sure we're talking about the same thing. Uh, oh my God. Um, how about you? Do I even want um, to know? Not too much. Probably 100 or, or 200. On this range. God damn. God damn. Yeah, All right. Well. Um. Well, th let's get. You're pregnant. Obviously, you can't see. I don't. Oh my god. I. <sighs> it's your baby, pussy. Why didn't you tell me about this? How? That's you? not. That's not how alpha males treat each other. Did you know about this? Of course. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know you, man. Uh, All you? alpha males should know each other. Like, well, what we about all you? are Have gross, you? obviously. Yes, obviously. But, like, ghosting is, like, kind of alpha male behavior. Because, like, who would care about a baby when it could be a woman? That is true. Except I did not do it on purpose. Yes. Well. Well, um. Well, what's your opinion on traditional gender roles? Fuck them, they're great. Yes, well, but now like, that men can get pregnant, it's like, we don't need I females. I mean, women could be just like slaves or something to like wash my hair or some. Yes. But like, I have really pretty hair, so I don't know if I would let a woman touch it. I know, right? But like, yeah. So, uh... But, obviously, I've been only killing women so far, and like eating them, but what about men? You hurt my brother, you hurt my bro, you hurt my child, and now what? I uh, think, I really fucking think, they should kill I, men I, now. I think I should fuck. Get out of here. You, you, you kill, kill a human? I make sure he's fat? Look at her! Jesus Christ, but it's so fucking uh, bad! I mean, taste it! Just try it! Just try it! Good, isn't it? Weird, but the flavor, the nourishment. Do you feel your true self? Do you feel the alpha inside you? I really fucking feel it. I think I should fucking get it. Do we need to move her to some like kitchen or whatever? We could put it to eat. What the fuck? You really kill her? Uh, yeah, it helped me. What about my pregnancy? I, my child won't have father. Do you want it to have a father? It's kind of like, oh my god, your child won't have a mother, now it won't have a father. It's kind of dipping into the gender lords too far. So now we have to cook him. Well, well, okay, but... It's, it's my... good for your baby. Fine, but... Fine nourishment. But it's, it's my first time to, to eat human. Like, do you know which part is... Fast. Oh yeah, of course. Everything. 
can have its use. Now, we have to start with something to hear. We have to filter it yeah. from intestines and fun. So we take our very sharp ring yeah. and we open it him here like that. You can see now everything inside. Now we have to take it out, put it here and put some water and some spices here. No Do you like spicy things? Yeah, but I think garlic and onion is also important, but I'm a vegan. Not anymore. You have to do it for your baby like Bella in Twilight. Fine, just for baby. Well, and uh, what about organ? Like, do you think heart or like liver It's also delicious? Well, I'll never kill a man before because I respect men and don't respect women. But like, I can't get pregnant for centuries. So maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe something's wrong with my diet because vegetables have two genders, right? Yeah. And you can't really recognize whether they are male or female, so you're eating both. So maybe that's why you could get pregnant and not me. Okay. Because I've been eating only females. Fuck them. So, so I think blood is also important. Do you think which part's blood it's uh, taste different? Of course, it depends whether they have oxygen, depends whether they're transporting some nutrients. It's all very, very fun, depending on the heart and stuff. You know, and on the diet. And as alpha males, we know that we only eat rough, raw beef liver, butter, and raw eggs. But so, he's probably really good. Well, okay. But just, uh, what, what, what's this food called? It's Italian or Spanish? You fucking kidding me, Italian. <laughs> what, you don't like Italian food? Baby. I was there when it was created, and Italian food now is nothing compared to Italian food then. What the fuck? We have to grab some meat okay. with our patero. Oh, I like this part. I think for barbecue is very good. Very fucking good. Remember, guys, everything we do, we do it for ourselves, our babies, and other alpha males. It's important to keep it in your heart. It's important to keep it in your soul, right, Bozen? Yeah, it is. So, that is why cooking other alpha males will get you pregnant. And that creates more alpha males, which is also good. So, that's all we want, actually, from life. So we could just go to a cruciate, like fucking Christians, and like, kill our women because why do we need them now? We don't. That's the whole point. Yeah. Thank you for letting us watch and present you this. I'm here in this place. So, we're gonna talk about Gorgelicious. What is Gorgelicious? Gorgelicious is a group of people with me, and we're gonna talk about, talk about a lot of things. And it's nice, it's cute, it's. Uh, oh, and I have something special. It's like my floppy. It. Take it. Oh, there it is. Look, this is floppy. And we gotta read this the whole the time, and it's like cute, it's nice, it's super cool, and it's fantastic. Um, yeah, it's nice, it's cute, and yeah, uh, but uh, I can't talk really much about this in a good way, so I'm um, asking Mr. Sirius to come, and uh, yeah, Mr. Sirius. Thank you. Yes. Because uh, 
Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm really happy to be invited here today. Um, I'm actually really glad that someone brought me in because something that you need to know is this is a serious matter. I really need my whiteboard. Oh, wait, Stay I can't. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm not serious. He is serious. I'm not serious. Thank you very much for this very nice introduction, Vicky. I'm, I'm really glad that you... I'm really happy to be here today for you and to, um, to actually explain you a little bit more about the real things of corporalicity. Because something that we might forget in these fun times is that corporalicity is actually something very serious. Something that you need to know is that corporalicity is all about harmony. But something that's also important is that the harmony is actually on top or below. That's important to remember, kids. There is a top and a below. You do not want to get to the below. So that's why we need to follow a few very strict rules. Like rule number one, you need to bring your floppy always. You have your floppy. Floppy is so cute. Vicky, so is, nice. a great, uh, Vicky is a great example. Always have your floppy. Yes. Rule number two is to completely give yourself to corgolicity. This is also why Vicky is a very good example. Vicky, we thank you very much in the name of uh, corgolicity. We are very glad that we have Vicky in here. Oh, sorry. Rule number three is to always try and have a connection even though you really cannot like, have a connection with someone. But this is fine. We really enjoy each other because this is also corgolicity. Rule number four is to always eat the only diet that corgolicity gives you. We'll get back to that. We'll have someone in here. Yeah, it's so exciting. But rule number five, very important. There are 27 rules. Rule number five, it's important because if you do not follow 27 rules, you will end up underneath. You will be sleeping underneath. This is yeah. something that you will not, you will not okay. get out of here. This is an important thing. This is actually really important. This is... It's important. It's really... I'm really... America's best aerobic athlete. Sandwich. Ce train important for this, the sandwich, you really love it. 
so colorful like this. But, yeah, uh, oh my god, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. God, I would love you. Oh yeah? You would like to marry with me? Um, okay, that's a bit like soon maybe, but... But we already are married, right? Oh yeah, that's true. I was already married with God. But are you really God? Yes, I'm God. And I want to have children with you. I want to marry it. I want to live on a pizza together. And I want to forget all these people of Gorgelicious. But, 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 Gorgelicious, I love Gorgelicious. No, but you love me. I love you? Yeah, you love me. I love you? Yeah, you love me. Gentlemen, today we have Mr. Bellas.
They are trying to guess words and concepts that first year art student came up with. Let's start. Chatley are trying to guess. The new data chatly have scores again.
Señorita Chetley want to know what is that? Don't worry, you still have time. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. The um, this uh, this night the winner is Senorita Chitle. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 669th episode of Fox at Night. Very deep. And I really wanted to pay homage to my blood. 
focus. I have this unicorn llama. They are, they are native of my house. Ah, they're very big 
in Mexico was so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in frame. So, so I know. I also have this. this. Get out. Which is this? It's very cool. Oh. So, oh, the camera is sad. It's got sad. So, yeah. So we also have. Very what else do I have? Indigenous. Here? My wallet. Very. Oh, oh what? Oh, another indigenous. Wow. This is also wonderful. Oh, my lip gloss. Very important. 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 Very Second, truly you can fit countless thousands, hundreds, millions of things in this wonderful bag, in this wonderful indigenous Colombian fabric. Yeah. But now, let's get real. Now, it's our favorite game. It's the most popular game. It's the biggest game. It's who's that person? And you okay. just need to guess who that person is. Okay. Are you ready? Are we ready? Focus. Who is yes. that person? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, mean, I already see green, but I think maybe it's. Um. Ah, uh -huh. here's, uh -huh. here's our person. Oh, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> who is this person? Who is this person? Is this. <gasps> is it Michael Jackson? Yeah, close. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Almost there, so close. One more guess, maybe. I have no idea. Oh, Donald Trump! No, 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 but those were all your guesses, and now we tell you who this person is. Who is this? Pablo Escobar! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, very dumb when he goes to love him. Really? Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I get my dog after him. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, it's a little dog, it's called Pablo Escobar. Very fun. All my neighbors, all my white friends love it. Very ugly. Yeah, but very nice dog. And this has been another edition of your favorite game, Who's That Person? No one so far has actually guessed who the person is.
when today's show, I need to talk about something very important and very personal to me. I'm launching my new line of Rod Fox condoms. Fox sex, condoms for sex. Fox at night, Fox at day, Fox on the weekends, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fox condoms. Fox X. Thank you all for watching and see you on the next episode of Fox at Night. Yeah. <laughs> um, so would you say you, you really care about this guy? Yeah, yeah, 
I really do. He's, he's like my everything. Yeah. And uh, how would you, how do you show this guy that you like, that you care yeah. about? My, my love language? It's like really gift giving. I'm I really like to give him stuff and in overload. So I most of the times like stuffed animals and he really enjoys it. So he's like, oh my god, another one that's so nice. So yeah, I that's that's how we show each other our love. Yeah. That's cute. And does he do anything for you? Does he um, do anything or he's just he's just great. That's that's all. He's just amazing. Yeah. Okay. He's great. Okay. And uh, do you have any hobbies? Hobbies. Um, as you may have heard, I, I'm a great singer. So I really like to sing, especially for him. I write my own songs and I, I sing it to the, him, and he really enjoys it. He's like, "Oh my God, you're the best singer ever!" And I'm just like, "I know. It's amazing." So. Yeah. What are these songs about? Actually? Yeah, about how much I love them. It's like really like you're my god and it's amazing, yeah. <laughs> same person, this being a brown-eyed, red-haired man. Police are investigating who this singer uh, is, and if you know anything or hear anything, uh, please contact the police. Okay, so you met this guy in the, in the supermarket? Yes, yes, we did, yeah. And <laughs> It was so cute in the hallway there. Yeah. Okay, it's so nice. And if you meet up with this guy, then where where do you guys like to go? Then? Uh, always at his house. His house is like the place to be. It's like my favorite place ever. I'm, yeah, I'm so in love with this place. Mm. It's just and great. Like, um, so always at his house, never somewhere else. No, no, yeah. We, it's like always at his place. I don't really like my place and his place is just amazing. But I don't know, we go elsewhere, but not not at my house. That's just, no. Okay. So would you say that his house really feels like a safe space? It's it's a safe space for me, yeah. I, it's For me, it's so, it's so calming to be there. And yeah, I really enjoy it there. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> A house in Vleeswijk, Arnhem, has exploded out of nowhere. We can't give you any details about how this explosion was caused, except that it was deliberate. Uh, nothing is left of the house except for one singular cucumber uh, that might have been placed there by the perpetrator. The owner of this house, a 25-year-old man, survived the explosion and has reported that he, he has been stalked for the past four years. Um, he thinks his stalker might have caused the explosion. Police are looking for the stalker right now. The man described her as a girl around 18 to 20 year, years old, short uh, to medium height with mid-length brown reddish hair, um, and she signed the love letter she wrote to him with L. If you see her or hear anything about her, please do not interact with her. I repeat, do not interact with her and call the police as soon as possible. Oh shit, I need to go. Hello, uh, are we live? We live, live, check, check. Yes. Yes. Welcome again to another um, special podcast of the Whale Pod, the number one podcast under the sea. And yes. today we're in a special edition outside the sea. We mm -hmm. just climbed here 
for a very special occasion. Today we're going to talk about topics such as crypto. Crypto? Like, yeah, crypto. Um, the struggles of male dating. The struggles of male dating. Yeah. And we've got some special invitees. Yeah. And today, of course, I'm presenting myself. Whale number 68, the best one. Co hosting. Whale number one. And best sadly, today not available, but our second host, uh, it's right now on a vacation. The fish. The fish. <laughs> Okay, the fish is not available, so yeah, but yeah, it's gonna he's be, yeah. on vacation, so he's, <laughs> he's on vacation. He's having some uh, yeah. problems of yeah of recordings. You know how it is. This is all live. We don't live. We're straight. But starting with the podcast today, we're gonna talk a little bit about crypto. Uh, Bitcoin. Who likes Bitcoin? Nobody likes Bitcoin, anyways. So today, my friend Mark is launching a new product, the Mark Coin. Yeah, the Mark Coin. And you should all invest right now on our Discord server down below. Mm-hmm. But um, actually, I think we heard, just heard something from the fish. So we can cut into the fish and see what, how he's doing. We got the fish on camera. There it is, the fish. Hey, buddy. My fish is chilling with his friends. As you can see, surrounded by a whole community of fish. We all go together in a pot. And mm -hmm. that's why today we have some special invitees to accompany with us, I would say. Right, Samira? Yes. Right, Samira. Real, very real. Uh, and to join us to talk a little bit about more the struggles of dating relationship nowadays and how Especially for males. Especially for males. You know why? Because education nowadays is very oriented into this woke community, you could say. Yeah, I could say. It's woke community. Woke. And people call us sexist. People, they don't understand the struggles of being a whale man nowadays, yeah, I would exactly. say. So today, exactly. joining us, we have a very special OnlyFans. Yes, OnlyFans only model. Uh, OnlyFans model who, she claims, I'm OnlyFans and I'm proud of it. Can you believe that? Anyways, <laughs> bring her in. That's special seal. Hey. Hi guys. So nice to see you. Where can I sit? Uh, sit whenever you want. Join, join. Thank you, join the pod. you don't so really much the guys pod, for yeah. this cute invitation. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> nice to have you. It's really I nice guess. to have you. Can you present yeah. a little bit more about yourself to the people that are watching at home? I hope some of them already know me and maybe noticed me already. Um, what is that you say? I'm 28 years old. Um, I'm the proud mother of uh, three boys. And uh, yeah, like uh, mainly for my job, I do call center and for side hustle, uh, I do OnlyFans. So I just see myself more in like the role of uh, uplifting young female um, entrepreneurs. So yeah, how, how did that's this, what I'm here for today, right? How did this only start, OnlyFans started? Um, well, sort of out of a co curiosity, but um, mostly because I needed money. Like, literally, it's not hard to live uh, today's life in this society as a mother so, raising her children alone, so. So you're kind of like a war, basically. What the fuck? You, are you proud of selling your body online for a bunch of kids who don't understand how pornography works? Do you think that it's a good thing? community. Um, well, I mean, there's like a age request on the side, like uh, in, with every other uh, adult I, side. So, and I would just like that we use the term sex worker, maybe. So. Mena, we're not mm. gonna use this term. No. Uh, but anyways, continue. Too much. Too much. How much would be a nude? Can we tell us the price of your body? Because apparently, <laughs> it has one. <laughs> Depends on what I'm showing, uh, but uh, you can already like guess. Like it's. Pricey, like you can just guess. sign Pricey. up and then mm. you find out. I would say it's probably two cents, but yeah, without a maybe doubt. less. Continue a little bit with our you questions. Boys wish. Who, who the fuck do you think you are to come to my podcast with that? Mm? With that attitude. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll continue. Going, continue. Yeah. Um, are your parents together by any chance? Would you say? They so. uh, yeah, divorced when I was like ten, but what did I have to do with that? So. Because uh, nowadays there's a lot of women with what we call daddy issues. Could yeah, that be? Daddy, daddy issues. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, we believe that it might come from there. And mm, actually, yeah. statistics mm. say 95% of women in OnlyFans are actually daddyless. Well, I know daddy. plenty of other sex workers whose family are very much happy and working and they will raise with both of their parents. Are you they happy? Yes, I would consider myself happy. Like, what is not nice about my life? I make a shit ton of money just by posting myself. Yeah, by selling your body. Yeah. yeah. So yes, um, online. 
to whoever wants it. What are you guys doing? You're selling your weird courses. Okay, next question. And, uh, I'm rich. I have a Lambo outside parked on my seat. Okay. So and what do I you get. think I came to the show today? Right? Hey, honey, this is not your podcast. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Another question: Did you study anything by any chance, or did you drop the studies? Which is possibly the right answer, right? Yeah, I think yeah, I was doing good work. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually that was the uh, circumstance, yeah, because like I said, I had a son to uh, care for, so mm. that was the only solution I found back then, to drop off my study for. Uh, are you an only mother? Yeah, I'm raising mm. my child alone because I uh, was dad back then. Um, Thanks for the dono. Thanks yeah, for the dono. alpha male, 101, alpha male. shout out. 101, our Thank you. loyal subscriber. Yeah. Day one. Oh my god, more oh. money! Oh my god, thank you, thank you so much. See, this is support from our loving fans yes. who understand our fucking cause. Not from people like, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whatsoever, what I was saying... Yeah, continue, yes. continue. Um, yeah. You're a lonely mother, because nobody wants you besides your OnlyFans subscribers. Because the dad left yeah. me back then alone with this fucking child, so I had to make up money and... Uh. You saw my Insta, you know what I'm making. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I saw it, I saw I it. I have my yeah. life. Ah, oh, good question actually. Can we have a zoom in on the boobs? Is it, are those real? Or yeah. is it for OnlyFans? Like, are those even real? I don't they, know, subscribe to the OnlyFans and you'll find out. So you mm. have information in the OnlyFans that regards the reality of your boobs. You sell that information. You sell it. No, but you form. can probably like better tell if you see more of them, huh? At least you can join Damn. this podcast for free She's every single Thursday. And yeah. go to the link in the description. My Instagram is donations. also for free, guys. So <laughs> stop She's already being in a war on stage. Post which, crazy. Which is crazy. Anyways, you yeah. study, but now you follow OnlyFans as a life. Would you say this is something to be proud of? What is your son going to think? Does he saw your OnlyFans? Well, I think like it's more of the circumstances around me that put me into this position, right? So... Mm. <laughs> what does our fish have to say about that, actually? Fish, can we get to the opinion yeah. of the fish? Oh, please, this guy never, 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 ever braid up. And <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, well done, well done. Thank you, Fish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Finally, something with a little bit of brain in this. That shouldn't even mm -hmm. be considered an opinion if you ask me, but uh, okay. Why is that not an opinion? Can we elaborate? Can we elaborate, elaborate on this? Yeah. Such like, that what so did that smart? fish actually did? That fish is life. right like, now. What, on what did they achieve? Nothing. Do you see that fish surrounded by other fish? That's a high valuable fish. But let's bring somebody in with a better opinion on that stuff. We actually had another yeah. MVP to join the whale pod. Another yes. semi whale, some people would say. It's our killer whale. Yes. Give it up for the killer whale. Hey. Hey, killer whale. Hey. Let's go. You guys need to bring him on the podcast to actually have some variety. What, you're not open minded yeah. enough to hear the opinions of the killer whale? No, yeah. but uh, when you guys texted me back then to ask me to come on your podcast, you promised me that you wouldn't bring up any other person. So. Uh, it's about me, right? Anyway. As me as an entrepreneur. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. you asked to be on the podcast. You ask us. Yes. Yeah, uh, exactly. No, I'm pretty sure that I've sent, that you guys sent me like an invitation three weeks ago or something. No, an we'll invitation. check the DMs. Like, you, you guys did you check my not, not that we care, not that we care. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy for but you to I can, do it. We have proof. We have but we can prove, we can prove it. I mean, always we should check real quick. Always um, lying. Check, I, I mean, I, you come to my I podcast. The they aren't trustworthy. You um, my can't find it, but sure. yeah, we're right, cause like, hundred percent sure, hundred percent sure. I'm sure they yeah. can't find it. Hundred percent sure. Anyways, yeah. killer whale. Hi guys, uh, I'm a, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm um, the best at everything that I do, cause I'm a man and I'm better. And um, I'm just coming on here to offer a better opinion than mm -hmm. your first guest, because quite honestly, from what I was hearing. Uh, when I was in the bathroom doing my own thing, uh, it was honestly, it was honestly unacceptable. These opinions that I was hearing, and I, I came to set the record straight. Yes. So. Set the record straight for everyone. Set the yes. record straight. What do your yeah. kids think of your living as an entrepreneur? I don't even know what they think. 
I because I don't even yeah, know any of my kids. So many of them, right? I don't. N none yeah, of them care that I have so many. Yeah, but you don't yo 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 yo. Let me talk. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Sure, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I was talking. I was yeah. talking. I was can talking. Can you stop being rude to her? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Honestly, she comes on this show, and she just she's just disrespectful. Exactly. All of my kids probably don't even know I'm alive. I don't even know any of my thank kids. You, thank you. I don't even know any of my kids. And that's the way that it should be. A whale yeah. is made is made to reproduce, while the seal is supposed yeah. to find the most valuable whale out there. Like uh, are men, you checking your phone? Yeah. Hey, yeah. So Why are you not engaging in the podcast that we invite you into here? Why? Because I'm supposed to listen to him. Like seriously? she's getting hysterical. She's getting hysterical and dramatic right now about my better cooler, more masculine, and more correct opinions. And I think this hysterical overdramaticness is just inappropriate. It's just not okay. Th think. You're getting this hysterical. This friggin' his- You come to my fucking podcast and you s you, you're on your phone. Yeah, because you guys are spraying so much shit about that okay. young male adults and that they apparently have no chance in today's dating life. And meanwhile, you're like keeping them away from actually Living a successful, uh, no. fulfilling... No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 It's no, just, no. it's difficult yeah. dating as a whale. It's difficult, okay? That's why you get donations from like a bunch of 17 no, 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 no. year olds. No, 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 let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I was talking, okay? Let him finish. Yeah. Let him fucking finish. You I actually forgot what I was going to say. Okay, but I believe you that what you're doing is clearly rude and it's not the vibe yeah. of the podcast. Uh, no. Leave, get the Yeah, it's clearly, yeah. you're clearly you're being rude. You're podcast. clearly being rude right now, and I'm I will not home. take this. This and is unacceptable. You're clearly disrespecting me as an entrepreneur. I was talking, I was talking, I was talking, I was talking, let me finish. I, as an entrepreneur, ever. I feel so dis. I need, I need some air. You guys have fun. I need some air. Uh, I'm okay, done. Goodbye. I'm done. I need some air. Get, get out. Get out. Okay. Get out my podcast. Okay. She out. She out. So, um, Fuck this. Get the fish on camera. What's the opinion of the fish? Yeah, what's the opinion of we the fish? We need the fish. Oh, oh my god. Never do this. Fish, where are I you? I cannot believe she did this shit to me. I cannot believe she was speaking to me like that. I can't even. I can't even. Okay. okay. Um, um, fish is not on it yet, but today's episode. <laughs> literally spoke, literally valid. Thank you so much for your opinion. Literally word. Literally spoke. Yes, thank you so much for your opinion. So, quick commercial break. Today's episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Um, Skillshare is an online learning platform for. Did she spoke to me like that? Yes, yes. Uh, anyways, uh, Skillshare sponsored this video, so a big thank yeah. you to Skillshare. You can go down the link below using mm -hmm. code alphamale33124. You can get a 5% discount on a one year subscription. Yeah, and follow possible. our course as well. 50 different ways to fuck your woman. 50 the different best well, way. Uh, how, to, mm -hmm. how to be good in bed. Tutorial. Exactly. Tutorial. Okay. But for your pleasure, of course. For your pleasure. We got you. See okay. you in the next Wild Podcast, and thank yes. you very much for joining us today, and thank you very much for all the supporters and so the people who subscribe. I can't believe you even invited her on. Yeah, like, I can't right. believe this. Are we off? Are we off? Are we off here? Are we off here? I can't believe it. Cut, 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 cut.